And Crawford says his dog was shot and killed right here on North Dupree. Now, Clayton tells me that he is bipolar and he has no idea what he's going to do without his dog named Hilo. It's traumatized all of us and it's something we'll deal with forever. Clayton Crawford says he led his Doberman named Hilo out to use the bathroom last Thursday night in his backyard. There's a section that is not fenced in. Crawford says Hilo got out on the street. He heard Hilo bark and then heard four gunshots. That's when he ran outside. Just to see her bleed to death right there in front of me, taking her last breath. As Crawford says, it's not clear what events led up to his dog's death. He says Hilo is not aggressive and he forgives the officer, but questions if it was necessary to open fire. It's been just spasms of crying and wailing since it all happened. Crawford is a local artist. As he tries to understand why this happened, he keeps Hilo's memories close. Since her death, he made this painting. Hilo is part of a second line guiding others, something she did for him every day. All I can see is her body in the pool of blood lying there in the middle of the street. It's hard to lose an animal or lose anyone in this life anyway, but to lose it to, in this way by, by a firearm, the sound of the gunshots, it still rings in me every day. So NOPD released a statement to us. It reads in part at no time did the officer involved in this incident report to investigators that he was bitten by the animal, nor was the officer actually bitten. The NOPD's Public Integrity Bureau Force Investigation Team is investigating. Officers with the NOPD never want to resort to using force. Unfortunately, in this instance, the involved officer felt it was unavoidable. Still, NOPD expresses remorse for this incident. They say we did reach out to them to do an on-camera interview, but they did decline.